Here's a question from Diane in Franklin Square, New York. Joyce, I want to know my purpose. Life is stressful and the clock is ticking. <laughs> I know I have a God-given purpose, but I feel frustrated that I don't see any change on the horizon. I don't have the answers. My fear is that I miss the mark. Why does it seem that God is not answering me? Well, the thing that comes to me for her is instead of trying to figure all this stuff out, I believe that what your purpose is, is something that you're going to enjoy. I think that it's something that you're probably pretty good at. It doesn't make any sense if the God who loves us so much would make me do something all my life that I hated and was no good at. Mm -hmm. And so don't, just, just step out and find out, you know, just start doing some things, kingdom things I'm talking about, and see if it's a fit for you. And you know, I tell this frequently and people always laugh when I do, but I just was so hungry to serve God. I mean, I, and I didn't know exactly, I didn't know at that time that I was gonna be teaching, but I just wanted to serve God. And so I was pretty bold and I would step out and try things. And one of the first things I tried was street evangelism. My church at that time was real, big on going out in the streets and passing out tracks. And, and I went and I hated it. Now, I mean, that may sound bad. Maybe I should love it, but I didn't <laughs> love it. And I remember the first time I handed a track to somebody, they slapped it out of my hand and said, I don't want that blankety blank thing. And then I, I tried um, nursery, working in the nursery. And that only took about two weeks and me and the kids knew I wasn't called to that. <laughs> and. I mean, I would, anything that they needed help with, I'd try to help it. I tried to be my pastor's secretary for one day, and after one, after one day I got fired, and that was so devastating. And he just basically said, I don't know why you didn't do anything wrong, but this just doesn't feel right. And so when I started teaching, when I was asked to teach a Bible study, well, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so try, just don't be afraid. You know, in order to try things, you have to not be afraid of failure mm -hmm. because That's huge. you will fail at some things on your way to finding out what it is that God wants you to do. So maybe in this case, instead of asking why God's not answering, it's checking out the what's, trying all the possibilities and seeing Take advantage fits. of anything Good. that comes in front of you. And I know one girl, she, uh, she couldn't seem to figure out what it was that God wanted her to do and she was getting on up in years in her life, sounds like this girl, this, this girl I'm talking about was probably already in her 50s and she wasn't married and had not, nor was she dating and felt like this, frustrated. And she said God gave her the scripture very strongly one morning, I think it's Psalm 100 verse four, serve the Lord with gladness. And see, even that, mm -hmm. I mean, there are people in the Bible that were called just to minister to the Lord. And that's all, they just ministered to God in the temple day and night. Yeah. So sometimes we're looking for something that's got a big title on it that may be impressive. And what if your whole purpose was just to be an encourager to other people? Yeah. Or intercessory prayer that's or important purpose. sometimes it's just do take every opportunity to be a blessing to somebody else and you won't be too far from finding your purpose in life. <laughs>